Garrett's Riley from RiffNinja.com. I'm here to show you the song Psycho by Muse. Uh, this is a, a part three of the series that I'm doing on this song. And this part is going to focus mainly on the verse. So the verse is what I talked about in the first, in the very first lesson. It's kind of a combination between the shuffle and the triplet feel. So if you don't know what that is, I'll explain it to you right now when I'm doing this little riff. Uh, it's gonna climb up into the do that little thing while he's singing and then it's gonna climb up into a couple a little bit of a chord progression that it's gonna progressively move in and I'll sh show you that step by step. So first off I'm going to explain to you exactly what he's doing with that shuffle triplet feel. So you'll notice that when he's going there's a little bit of a, a chromatic passing note that he's doing there kind of like in the chorus that he's doing when he's going it's, it's using the same chromatic passing note, but it's just doing a little bit quicker, just like how I, I said in uh, the very first lesson about Roadhouse Blues. They do kind of the similar thing. This is that part right here. So when you're doing this song, you're going to want to do the chug. So it's going to go one, a two, a three, a four triplet, one, a two, a three, a four triplet. So that's how you're going to count it. You're going to count the first part of it shuffle, and then the last little bit is going to be triplet. So I'll count that one more time. Again, you're going between the G, the G sharp, and the A on this part. So once you, I explain this feel to you, it'll be exactly the same for the rest of the progression that I'll be showing you. So I'm just going to get this out of the way first. So again, it's going to go one, a two, a three, a four triplet, one, a two, a three, a four triplet, one, a two, a three, a four triplet, one, a two. So that's the feel that you're going to, going to be using throughout the entire verse for all the changes. So just get that in your head, rehearse that over and over and over again because it's very important in the song. So most people like to start their riff and then they like to, instead of going down, jumping down to the A string, with, which me personally, I find that a lot easier, but you can do it this way as well if you'd like. So some people like to jump up, up to the C and the D, which is would be right here. <laughs> But why do all that hand mo moving, right? So that's just that's just my personal view on it. Like going all the way up here and mo doing all that hand movements when you could just go. It's in the same vicinity. It's in the same vicinity right here. You don't have to move very far instead of jumping all the way up your neck to do that little riff. Sure, it looks cool if you're fast enough, but you know, just kind of just go down here or up here, going to your from your tenth to your twelfth fret. So you can do it either, but I'm going to show you on the A string third fret, going to going to your sixth fret or your fifth fret. Okay, so this part right here, you're going. I'm going to slow that down again for you, and it's going to go from your your open D. That's the change right there. So that's part, like the second change. Now the third change is going to be a little hammer on, hammer off kind of technique that you gotta get. You can pick through it again, but the original, they do do a little bit of a hammer off. So you can go, it's gonna go. So you're doing a little bit of the hammering technique with your left hand. It's not so much picking as it is flicking the string with like a little bit of a tapping motion. So you're going. So that's between your G and your F and then you're open. So you're going. One more time. So that's the whole little change here before we go up to the next part of the chord progression, which will start on your F. So I'm going to run through that one more time, and you'll see exactly uh, that the first part of the changes. So here we go. It's gonna I'm going to go through it normal speed, and then I'm going to go through it at a slower speed. So here we go. <laughs> So 
So that's the, nor the normal speed. Now I'm going to slow it down a little bit for you. So go. So that is the full first part of your verse. Now, switching on to the next part of your verse, you're going to be, instead of on the very last change, so you're going to go the and then you're going to go right back up to that G to the A. So you're going to go right, you're going to go right back to that change, and you're going to do that one more time. So you're going to go. You're gonna go up to the A, but after the A, you're gonna drop down. You're gonna go and right down to your F. So you're gonna go from the change right here, right down to your F. So let me run through that one more time. It's gonna go the open, right to it down to your F. It's a little bit of a tricky turnaround, but I'm sure you'll get it. So from that F you're going to go from the F, so it's going to go. It's going to start on an open A. So you're going to go from the F to an open A, and you're going to do the little chromatic run up right up to your C. So you're going to go from the F, so it's going to go. Open. So I'm going to do that one more time. It's going to go from your F, from your F on your third, third fret, to an open A chromatic run up to your C on your third fret. So I'll do that one more time. So from your F, your chromatic run up to the C. And from your C, so it's going to go It's going to do another chromatic run up between your C and your D which where have we seen that before in the very beginning of the riff so you go we've seen that already before but you're going to do your little run up so you're going to go and then right down to your G down to your G and then you're going to do it one more time from there so you're going to go from your C Back to your G, to your A. So from your F, I'm going to go from the F one more time from where I started showing you that little changeover, and I'm going to go right back to the very beginning of the cycle. So it's going to start on your F. So that is the entire cycle of the verse. So I'm going to run the whole cycle one time normal speed, and then I'm going to run through it half time speed, and I'm going to call it the changes to you. So here we go. So it's going to go. That is normal speed of the whole verse progression. So now I'm going to slow it down and I'm going to call out the changes to you as I'm playing. So it's going to start on your D, G to your A, to your F, to your open A to your C, from your C to your D. And one more time. And then your D again. From your G to your A one more time. And then it starts over again. Right from there it starts over and it just repeats itself until you get into the into the the next part of the song, which is the chorus, which we already talked about in the last lesson because the intro and the chorus kind of correspond together. Um, 
that's it for this lesson. Uh, check out the next part of the lesson right here, and um, have a good day.